G'day folks, Damon from Nomad. I'm gonna run you through the rigging options for the flying fish. I've got the 200 size flying fish here. I'm gonna show you the best ways to rig it for marlin and tuna fishing. This is what we've found to be quite effective uh, during testing. So there's two ways that we've found are extremely effective to rig it. One has the tail on and the other one has the tail off. So the first one I'm gonna show you is to take the tail off and show you how to rig it through the body. So we just take the tail out, it's nice and easy, give it a bit of a wiggle, tail just pops out. And there's a hole in the uh, area where the tail comes out that you can poke the leader through. So I've just got a short little bit of leader here for demonstration. So we just put that in there and feed it through. Now, generally it comes out the bottom hole. There is a little stopper that's included with the kit. Now, if you need it to come out the front hole, so I just poked it through there and it came out the bottom. If you're like, no, I want it to come out the top, um, you basically put the little stopper in and just feed it through and it will make it come out the other hole. So there we go, uh, we'll go out there. Now, the trick at the back here for rigging this is to use the little green stopper. So there's a green stopper that's included in the rigging kit that comes with each flying fish body. So I've just put that onto the leader. I've got a crimp and I've got a stiff rig here. So I've just done a pretty basic stiff rig here with the mono wrapped around the hook. You guys can rig it however you want. Um, heat shrink, whatever your favorite stiff rig. You can also leave it loose. If you just want the hook just swinging free, that's fine as well. But the trick here is you push the stopper in, push it down, you push the crimp down. The cool thing here is the crimp actually sits in the cavity where the tail was. So it basically locks it in. So what you've got there is the hook that's kind of locked in at the back. That's your flying fish. Um, you can get it you know, straightened up with uh, electrical tape or heat shrink, whatever you want to use there to get it perfectly straight. You can also flip this around, make the hook face down. Uh, you make it face out to the side if you want to, whatever you want to do. But the stopper and the crimp combination basically locks it in there. Um, and that is good to go to go out and catch yourself some tuna and marlin. So the other option for through the body is that you can come out the tail here. There's another opening uh, under the back of the, the body here. And I haven't got the green stopper on this one. I've just got the leader coming straight out. So it's exactly the same as the other method. Just feed your leader through, choose whichever hole you want it to come out at the front using the stopper that's included. and there's also, we've included in the rigging kit, uh, some little clear rubber bands. So basically this is a way that we found, if you want the tail on, uh, this is a great way to do it. And this helps with the hook being uh, facing downwards. So just keeps the tail on, you wrap the rubber band around the hook at the tail and that's rigged and ready to fish. That'll troll perfectly. We have found that this rig's probably better at slightly slower troll speeds. Um, the other rig, that comes out directly out the back of the tail uh, has proven to be more effective on most of the body sizes at you know higher trolling speeds, probably you know in that sort of seven seven knots and above sort of range. So uh, if you're going slow, you know if you're trolling around four or five knots and you know where the fish are, uh, this is a great rig to try. This option also keeps the eye of the hook inside of the body of the lure if you need to rig it that way.